Tell me about the glove you built. So we built a glove mouse for our final project. It has basically two units, a, a glove and a base station. This glove has an accelerometer mounted on the back of my hand and five finger pads for on fingertips and one on the side of my index finger for a move enable. Uh, these are basically a move enable, which allows me to, do you want to show the screen? Or it allows me to start moving and stop moving so I can do other things. I have left click, right click, uh, left click, middle click, right click, and a scroll enable button. And these are all home, home built uh, low, low force switches, right? Yes. Uh, they're built with copper tape and some foam in between separating the two. And then, up, and then up here we have a cable going up to... The, this is an armband with featuring the Atmega 1286 microcontroller. And this is where all the processing happens for the glove. And we mounted it on the arm because there just wasn't enough room to put it on the glove. The other end of the radio link is a... This... Uh, sport. This is a Teensy 2.0 HID uh, like development board, and it has a Atmel AT90 USB 1286 microcontroller on it. Okay. And it connects <clears throat> the the base station connects directly via USB to a computer. All right. So show me it operating now. So right now I'm not enabled. When I move enable, I can go left by rotating my hand left, I can go right. If I tilt my hand up and down, I can go in vertical axes and I can click and drag, unclick, uh, right click, and if I middle click and hold it down, I have the normal features of any standard mouse. Scroll, scroll ability. Yeah. Cool. And this can be one application besides like normal use or gaming we thought was interesting could be presentations where you're giving a presentation and you don't want to be limited to standing at a computer screen. So you can wear a version of this, maybe a smaller version, and be able to scroll between PowerPoint slides because Microsoft PowerPoint just basically uses scrolling and clicking. We're using to, fairly normal gestures. Right. Okay. So you can do anything you would normally do with a mouse, just now not bound to your computer. Right. And you can also change the sensitivity so that you can easily, more easily move or less easily move in the big screen or small screen. So you can change the sensitivity. Change the sensitivity. And you can also change the base orientation, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, we have a dip switch here that has four of the switches are wired to the microcontroller. You want to say what they are? This one is for sensitivity mode. Second one is for rapidifier, which is re really useful when you're gaming. And the third one and fourth one is for inverting the x axis or y axis so that you can change which direction will move the cursor to which direction. Very cool. And it looks quite stable. It looks like uh, it's smooth and it's uh, stable. Yep. <laughs> I mean, I meant stable on the screen, oh. but it's also stable on your arm. Yeah. Okay, thank you.